Hello, it is Throwback Thursday, November 14th, 2019. Four years ago today, my beautiful wife, Michelle, were driving en route from where we had lived ever since we met each other in Chicago, Illinois. Got married, bought our first home, lived there uh, 15, 20 years. We left there four years ago yesterday and four years ago today was a driving day and we arrived here in sunny Arizona four years ago tomorrow. Yeah, we pretty much drove right through, switched off, made one stop. Ironically, we <laughs> underestimated the amount of time and effort it would take for our movers and us to get everything packed and load the trucks and get everything out of there. And we didn't leave till late on, it was a Friday four years ago on the 13th. Friday the 13th, well, maybe we should have known when we left. Didn't leave till real late. And we were, <laughs> I think we weren't even out of Illinois when we stopped for the night. <laughs> we were like, hey, wait a minute. We're both exhausted. You know, we got up real early. We're packing for days and you know, all the stress of the move, and we're up real early, and then we're packing all day, and, you know, even though we had three movers, we're, like, directing everything, and we're still packing up boxes, and then we couldn't fit everything in the truck, so we're figuring out what else to leave. We ended up leaving an entire garage, two-car garage, just filled with stuff uh, that somehow we thought we would take some of. We thought we'd we thought we'd take more than we could fit. I mean, we were going to leave all of our furniture, and we just left the garage door open, and called friends and family and said, come on over and take whatever you want. And then just make sure you close the garage door and sweep it out on the way out. Just take everything. And, uh, but anyway, uh, you know, there we were all day long till we finally left it. Like, I mean, we had planned to leave by like, oh, two, three o'clock was the estimate from the movers. Um, no, we didn't get out of there till about eight or nine o'clock at night, exhausted. And... <laughs> I don't know, it was like midnight or something. And we're like, hey, we need to pull over. We can't even switch up. We're both exhausted. And we uh, stayed the night in a hotel for a few hours in Illinois. Got up at like 4 or 5 a.m. And we were motivated to get the heck out of there and get down here. And we hit the road. And then we, we switched off. And we pretty much drove straight through. And uh, got here on a Sunday, on November 15th, 2000. And 15, four years ago tomorrow. So we're celebrating our four year anniversary of being here in sunny Arizona. And I gotta say, here I am out by our pool. And uh, I didn't check today, but I've heard that back up north in Chicago, I mean, I think recently they had snow and it's cold and miserable and whatever and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it, it gets tough down here in, the, in August and July. We've got the monsoons, we've got the dust storms, we've got 115 degree heat, but Last I checked, I don't have to shovel any of that. It doesn't pile up. Uh, you know, we just we stay inside just like you do up north, but I don't have to do any of that stuff outside or get all bundled up when we go somewhere. You just kind of get in the car and turn on the AC and go somewhere. So we are loving being out of Illinois, besides, of course, the main reason why you got to leave Illinois, New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, California, Washington, Oregon, all those kind of ridiculously mismanaged states where they just could, I mean, they hate successful people. They just punish them. They just keep taking more and more and more of our money. So here's the deal. So many people, you know, when they ask, they say, what, you just, I mean, we, I think what happened was we came down here looking for a place. I was down here for an event and we stayed an extra few days and we looked for a place and we said, you know, maybe we'll move down there. We found a place and we left two weeks later. And people were like, how'd you do that? You just up and left. I'm like, that's right. Because last I checked, this is America and you are free to move around the country. In fact, you're free to move around the world. So, but I meet so many people that claim they're stuck all the time. Well, see, yeah, that's great, but see, I have to, I got to. I mean, they wake up every day. And maybe that's you, you gotta get rid of that. If you wake up every day and you say disempowering phrases all the time, like I have to, I gotta, oh, I gotta go to work, oh, I have to stay here because of X, Y. You don't have to gotta do anything. This is America. So it's a land of freedom. I know there's 
heck of a lot of politicians these days uh, getting out there con trying to convince people that somehow America should not be land of freedom anymore. We should let more and more government bureaucrats tell us what to do, my goodness. But uh, last I checked, this is still America. We still have freedom. And especially, I don't, you know, I've helped so many people move. Just get out. Go somewhere else. Go where you want to go. Especially local business owners all the time. Well, you don't understand. You know, my family's here. My this is here. I own a business. Well, if you own a local business, especially nowadays with technology, there's so many ways to change that to a national or an international business by selling stuff online. You can sell the business and move. You can put systems in place where you can operate it without ever having to be there. I mean, so many people do that. Right now, I own all or part of 14 different businesses. I'm almost never physically at any one of them. They could be all over the place. Uh, you could start a second location. So maybe if you have a location up north, you start a second location down south. I did it years ago. I was talking to somebody who, uh, oh, yeah, he called me from, he lives in Atlanta now, but he said he, he was born in Florida. And I was like, yeah, you know, I spent one winter in Florida in the mid-90s. I started a business there just so I could down, go down there. And I was down there from January through April. And then when the humidity factor started going berserk around May 1st, I was like, get me out of here. And I went back up to Pennsylvania. And I had business locations in Connecticut, Pennsylvania, uh, Massachusetts, uh, uh, Delaware, all over the place up north. But I said, you know, let's... Let's start one down south. There's so many different things you can do, but one thing is for sure. You're not stuck. You're only stuck mentally. So if you want help, I've helped so many people get physically unstuck, mentally unstuck. Make the move. Make the change, especially if you're in a situation that you are not happy. Life is too short. If you ask me, why be unhappy? Four years ago tomorrow, we arrived here in sunny Arizona. We left our home four years ago yesterday in oppressively, ridiculously mismanaged Chicago, Illinois. We're in the Chicago suburbs, but Cook County, that's the county of Chicago, so it's ridiculously, disgustingly mismanaged. I mean, beautiful city on the outside and just horribly disgusting beneath the surface, the way that thing is mismanaged. And... Uh, and we couldn't be happy. Never looked back. Not for one second. I went up to visit once. And uh, I had planned to go up there more. Uh, and, uh, and I ended up going one more time. But I was like, no, I don't feel, never, I didn't, never. Like I said, we really enjoyed the place. And I helped so many business owners. I got, I got clients that are up there. I have so many success stories up there still. I mean, I have fond memories of the area, but not where I want to be. So if that's you, if you're somewhere you won't, don't want to be, there's some th simple things you can do to get out of there. It starts up here with stop thinking you're stuck because of. You're only stuck because of your own thinking and your own, the way you've set up your life. And sometimes people tell me that too. They go, oh man, you're lucky. You're lucky you lived down there. I assure you there was not luck involved. This was completely planned. I structured my life, and here, I also could move again. I structure my life so that I can work from wherever I want, with whomever I want, whenever I want. That's the way I structure it. I can help you do that, too, if you go to helpfromsteve.com, but otherwise, that's it for Throwback Thursday, just celebrating the move. Four years ago... Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, we made the two-day trip, packed up everything. What are they saying to Beverly Hills movies? Packed up the whatever and moved to Beverly, whatever we did. Packed it up. Two days, couldn't wait to, I mean, it was like almost 2,000 miles, I think. And we just could not wait to get here. Just drove straight through. Haven't missed it for one second ever since. I hope you are also where you want to be, and if not, I hope you do what you got to do to get there. That'll do it for Throwback Thursday. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow on Foundation Friday from beautiful, sunny Arizona. Over and out. Bye-bye.